Hello everyone, welcome once again. In this series of videos, we will look into self-hosting with SignalR and Web API. We will also make use of Owen. As you can see, I've got a blank solution opened. So, rather than talking too much, <coughs> we will start getting on with it. First of all, we will, we will add couple. Of, we will add two folders. First one, we call it self-host. Dot server. Second one, we call it self-host dot clients. Inside of self-host dot server, we will add. We will host. Um, we will self-host in a console application. So what we do is we add them. Um, a console application we will call it self host dot console server Now inside our console application, now we open a, a package manager console. So you, obviously, if you have it opened, we, and inside our package manager console, we will install this new get packages, um, signal dot self host. We will also install web API dot Owen self host. And then we come back to the we add a folder. We call it a config folder or configs configuration inside the we are the class we call it startup class And inside our configuration, we add another startup. Then it's a public partial so. We we make it the main self self host the console server the name host. So we come back to the other one. We make it partial as well. So as you can see, then the main one here we add um a public void. configurations I take I app builder and then we call this method then we put Copy this method, we come back to the other startup, creating a method 
that takes the I app builder. So the error should be resolved here. Okay. So inside inside our configurations, we add uh, one more class. Call it the root config. And then register root. Um, sorry, this this is a, a method instead of a class. So we just remove everything here. Then there's a public static void. Register roots. So this will be our, our root template for our web API service dot roots dot map HTTP route. name you just give you a default a API then root API then put our controller just like a normal web API or MVC for our ID, then our defaults, ID is root parameter dot optional. So now we've got our root setup. So we come to the startup inside the uh, configuration. So inside here, what we're going to put is um, HTTP configuration. We initialize it. Then we call our, our root. Our root config. register root and we put our config inside then what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, you up dot um, use we're gonna use this namespace use course then the, the course is cross origin request so we call the course option options dot allow all so we can resolve that by downloading it from NuGet so that will be in Microsoft Owen dot course so we install it Then you resolve it. 
so now what we do is up we map sub configurations these are signal all inside here this is what we could do this is what we do here we call the hub configuration hub configuration that we instantiate it we don't do anything for now so we, what we do is we call map dot run signal arm that's that's all we're gonna do for now so now what we do is we create a new folder and we call it apps just like the usual signal all stuff then we add a new class a help class we call it notification hub course is a public class then it inherits from hub so what we do we add the one hub method call it public void uh, server time clients to all the displays time so this is just all we're gonna do for our, our hub class now so what we do is we come to our program so inside our program what we do is we call our URI HTTP localhost I mean any port that you want to put that is not a problem so using web app dot start then we put our startup class and our URI and we say server started So we display this information and we stop the console from escaping. So this is what we've got for now. We've got we're going to run it to see what is going to happen. I mean, we might have an error because I'm not running it under an administration mode. So we go ahead and run it to see. Yeah, so now as you can see, we've got our self hosted server running now. So, what we're going to do on the next part of the video is to build a Signal Arc client. We probably make use of a web client, console client, and probably desktop client just to see how they all interrelate to each other. So, sit tight and let's go ahead with the next video. Bye bye.